Oh, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> Money. Ah, uh, folks. Do you know what this means, folks? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't light that cigarette, folks. Yeah. Right up, church, man. Yeah. A lot of people in the know like us. Yeah. What's the season after winter? Money, 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 money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Oh, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> if I'm gonna be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm gonna be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Dracul, Dracul blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that Dracul. Oh my God. Money. They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh, well, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> Uh, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. Give me your fucking money! Hello, 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 beautiful creatures of the internet. I'm your armchair quarterback, Mingo Jones. Uh, I am very tired. I am just fucking exhausted. I have been running on steam. <laughs> my hip still hurts. Food poisoning's not that at least the food poisoning was mild, but my hip still hurts. It's been it's been a day. But we're here. We're gonna watch some Tony Chase. We're gonna watch a shitty video. We're going to uh watch Food Dude Noah make something terrible, of course. And if, then we'll see what Vaughn's been doing. I haven't checked in with Vaughn in a minute, minus watching a Todd stream snipe. But fucking J Dubs had to go and fuck that shit up. Fuck you, J Dubs. Anyway, let's do the spiel. We'll say hi to the folks. We'll get into this shit. And I'm going to try and catch up with posting the link because I am running behind today. <clears throat> As always, in the description, you'll find links to the stream perps from on the shared stream yard with. You'll find links to the pay fam. You'll find links to Tito and Yato. Tito is funnier than Yato. You'll find Mango's master list of U.S. resources with everything from LGBTQIA plus resources to domestic violence resources to reproductive health resources and beyond. Need help finding a resource? Hit me up. I'll see what I can do to help. But there's no guarantees. Pinned at the top, there is a uh, small human and Mango stuff. Why is there small human and mango stuff? Because, well, Mango done fucked herself up and is missing out on work. <laughs> uh, uh, also, there's the PayPal pool link that is in there as well. Um, which, if you look at it, it like it does say that, you know, 455 of that goal is for his next round of seizure meds and, like, it... It's a very long fucking fundraiser. It's not something that needs to happen in the immediate. So if you want to help, great. If not, great. It's your money. Do with it as you please. Uh, yeah, so. 
now that I got that out of the way, uh, right off the bat, thank you, Todd. Fucking Todd Malakote sneaking in and doing that while I'm doing the spiel. I greatly appreciate you, Todd. You are a phenomenal human being. And I still cannot understand why people don't like you. You just... What is wrong with people? Anyway, uh, let me update the pin. I still haven't finished posting this link out to all of the servers that I usually post it in. So I'm trying to catch up with that still. I am... Hmm. Let's say hi to the folks. Ah. <laughs> uh. Some people have no taste. You're absolutely right there, Todd. Absolutely right. Alright, so. Uh, hello, Aaron Massa. It's lovely to see you. I hope that you are doing well today. Lauren, hi! How are you? How was your social media break? Because I remember you took one. I hope that you are doing well. I hope that your ankle is feeling a bit better. Hello, hello, Mari. Lovely to see you. I hope that you are doing well today as well. Hey, Colette. I'll be lurking again. Well, it is wonderful to have you and any other lurkers that are here. Because lurkers help with everything. Lurkers are the best. Hey, Arxinium, my twin. I was listening to angsty white guy music, and now there's a mango stream. Oh, man. That's crazy. Hey, hey, Broccoli Monster, how you doing today, love? I hope that you are well. Ah, yes. Face down, red jumpsuit apparatus. When I was in high school, red jumpsuit apparatus actually came and played at the high school. In our little theater. It was weird. It was cool, but it was weird. Hmm. <clears throat> My boyfriend just woke up, stuck his tongue out at me, and fell back asleep. Should I be offended? I wouldn't be offended. I would be more confused than offended. Which I think is fair to be confused. <laughs> Alright, sw small human is not on his way. Don't, don't put that on him. He's already... A doctor and a lawyer, so and he's looking at me like he don't know what you're talking about, Mom. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, Charizard. No one, not a soul. Me during a meeting with the operations excellent manager. I could be watching low cows that make more sense than this efficiency meeting. <laughs> you know it's bad when the cows make more sense than the efficiency meeting. Especially since it's supposed to be on efficiency. <laughs> hello, hello, Griffin Doggo. Money for the small human meth fund? Yes, the small human uh, OG4 Locos and meth fund. Or meth rehab fund. Yes. It's been a year for you, not just a day. Okay, that's fair, Lauren. That is extraordinarily fair. It's Damn. <laughs> hello, hello, buttworm. Hope you're doing good today. Yes, gravity is the worst. We don't we don't like gravity around here. We don't like gravity. And yes, Todd, some people have no taste. I don't know why they lack the taste, but they should work on that. They should fix themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh yes. Hi, Sha. I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Todd hasn't paid me to like him. Uh, I'm sure that y'all will get to that point in the relationship. <laughs> hello, hello, widows. Greetings. Uh, Al Trucker, lovely to see you. I'm back. I missed the intro. Oh, no. <laughs> hello, hello, Harry. Lurk, lurk, lurk. You lurk all you want, bud. We love lurkers. 
It was good. I was off for a week, but I got bored since I can't really walk around yet and do other things. Damn it, it pulls you. You, you get out and it tucks you right back in. <laughs> hey, hey, J Mag. Lovely to see you. As far as the straight from JDubs go, I have filed a legal response. JDubs has 30 days to decide if he wants to go to court. Meanwhile, I serve a seven day ban, so I'm assumed guilty by YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's always going to assume guilty, and you can take all of the time in the world to like fight it, like get try and appeal it and all that stuff. But of course, they don't want to fucking listen, they just want to be jackasses. Watch me get a seven day ban for saying that. <laughs> I had never heard of them until, like, now. So, oh, really? Hmm. Mango, my online twin, the brainless steel, is being a naughty bird, but he's an honest naughty bird. He's so funny. I do enjoy Brainless's company. I think that he's funny. He makes me laugh. Hey, hey, queen cat lady. Welcome in. Welcome in. Alright. So, I think... Oh! Knitting Gamer, lovely to see you. Eating an egg sandwich my hubby made me and lurking. Happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday to everyone. This weekend, I have a long dog sitting weekend, which is going to be so much fun with my hip hurting the way it does. <laughs> but she's a sweet puppy dog, so. Hello, hello, Glober Mom. All right, I think that's everyone. Uh, hello to all of the lurkers, anyone that'll catch this on replay. Y'all are all wonderful and amazing, and we love you. So, we're going to start. Do, 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 do. Hey, it's Hillbilly Jim. Folks and tokes and smokes, folks. Oh, welcome, welcome, Hillbilly Jim. So I do believe what we are going to do is start with Tony Chase. It is start with Tony Chase. Tricks of Government Thieves is the name of the video that he has for us. What are the tricks of government thieves? They're, uh, Tony Chase? Oh, of course. My Wi-Fi decided to dip a little bit. That's fun. It's a nice day out. Why are you being weird? Going to London next week? How did I miss the one day I want to go explore? That the London Marathon is on? Oof. No, not the London Marathon. Mostly a lurker today. Well, enjoy your lurking. Hey, user two. I'm egg rolling with the punches. And hello, everyone. Hello, hello. And yes, Glover Mom, I am also glad that we are all here after that world-ending eclipse. It's... Mm. I didn't get taken in the rapture. <laughs> Look. What someone should have done while everyone was like standing there looking up at the sky, especially if they had like religious parents, is they should have like snuck around behind them and just dropped clothes. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> anyway. And yes, Tony is got is not gay, not never. What's going on, Tony? thing of importance you know the royal protocols in all 50 states and these people trying to claim they didn't know who i am when my parents owned some of the largest mansions in most cities and states and my parents owned a lot of land in a lot of cities and states seems very convenient for their tricks and lies to claim they didn't know who somebody is doesn't it especially when the royal protocols on tv in all 50 states and the royal protocol of my identity is at every TV station and radio station, too. 
all of the TV and radio stations know Tony Chase. They have his royal protocol. I didn't know that they had his royal protocol. I thought that his royal protocol was only uh, in the White House with the satellite man at the dentist's office. Hello, hello, Lisa V. Welcome in. It's lovely to have you. I was raptured, but summarily sent back due to being past the expiration date. Well, damn. Well, uh, R.I.P. and also welcome back, Hillbilly Jen. <laughs> hello, hello, Sydney. Ashley, it's lovely to see you. I think the mysterious powers of the eclipse made you slip and eat a bad egg. It's all over now. You shall heal. Yes, I shall heal. It shall all be okay. Maybe. The government has its teeth on file. If only I could be on that level. You know, I also wish that I could have uh, all of my dental records on government file somehow, some way. I think it would be fun. <laughs> Did I miss it again? No. Uh, we just started like 16 minutes ago. You're all good. Can't wait to hear Shannon Rev's explanation for why the world didn't. And maybe God wants to keep them here to suffer more. Well, Shani did say that God does exactly what she asks. So probably. <laughs> And at every government office. Seems kind of convenient for their tricks, doesn't it? So in reference to the information of these politicians or these government people claiming they didn't know who I am, trying to confuse people, trying to mislead people, those politicians need to get ordered into court. Why would they endanger my life? Why did they try to steal my genetics? Why were they trying to breed my genetics with their fucking political families? Those people have to get ordered into court for poaching and trying to murder me and trying to steal my mother and father's estates. They are trying to poach Tony Chase. Huh. They're trying to poach Tony Chase. I never would have guessed. And yes, user two, it's all uphill from here. Mm, but I'm going to fight you, user two. <laughs> you should get that clip of Jack Sparrow saying, and really bad eggs. But I digress. I should. I should. Uh, yes, God comes out of her mouth when, or no, it's Jesus. Jesus comes out of her mouth when she is weak. Use of that what you will. The satellite man in the middle of trying to steal Tony's inches. Yes, he is trying to steal Tony's inches the rest of his inches, because he already stole a lot. He used to have the world's largest penis, you know. Uh, he's also in the middle of lasering all of his teeth. So. Hold on, you guys. Shani is also Sand Dolphin, the Archangel, the Archangel. I can speak, I can words, and yes, yes, she is. She said so. And she's a prophetess. Didn't y'all know? Tony is starting to make sense to me. I believe him. I think the government stole my inches too. That's why I'm so short. I too want my inches back. Oh, Mari. <laughs> it's okay. 
being short isn't a bad thing. I wish I were shorter than I am. Most people like shorter, uh, shorter women. Does he know about the implants? I don't know. Does he? We'll have to. Uh, as much as I would love to ask Tony Chase questions, I don't think I could have a serious conversation with Tony Chase. Satellite man was unavailable to comment due to previous obligations to fly drones over MTC. <laughs> you know, most targeted citizen and fucking uh, Tony Chase would probably have some interesting conversations with each other. I would love to see them sit down and talk. I feel like Shani's missing teeth or a botched transplant using Tony's stolen teeth. <laughs> oh my god. That would make sense. That would track. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. Let me upload this to my brand real quick, if it'll let me. Um, because I did pull something that Todd had sent me. And I forgot to show it last stream, but I have it now. So let me upload that to the brand real quick. And we will watch it before uh, we check in with Vaughn. process I love being short five foot I can get help reaching things too high for me I'm five foot ten I'm five foot ten the government has everyone's dental records on file I'll see if I could be like if I could be five six, five 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 six, that would be great. I could find jeans that fit my leg length. And way more dudes wouldn't be like, oh man, you're fucking great, but you're just, you're too tall. Hey like, bitch. I got long legs. They look good around people's shoulders. Anyway, so, continuing on. We've got this that Todd sent me. It is the extended version of two bros sitting in a hot tub. Let's enjoy. Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay.
five feet apart because they're not gay. Almost 20 years of studying music so that I could bring you that. Please consider subscribing. Holy shit! Because they're, cause they're not gay. They're not gay. Thank you, Todd, for sending me that, because that is fucking amazing. I love it. <laughs> um, oh, for people that are interested in, like, the Terrence Howard stuff that's been going on, uh, Miss Parker is currently live talking about it. So if you would rather be over there watching that, I understand completely. There's the link in the chat for anyone that wants to check out Miss Parker. And give her some love. All right. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my God. Now. We have. Von Helton. What's going on with Von Helton? I don't know. I only keep up with Von Helton through. Uh, Todd. So. This comes to us from. Nats in the Pizza, if you are not subscribed to Nats in the Pizza, go over there for digestible clips of Von Tint. This one's called Donation Rage. So what's going on, Von? Oh, we yeah. got someone in the room from Gold Jim. What's going on, Jim? Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Yeah, what's up? Happy Sunday. Oh, well, wife and I finished up our taxes this week weekend uh, so that's a nice feeling to have that shit done yes yes it uh, is. Oh, fuck but i i think it's actually good because that kind of gets us to where we know you know what our true money picture looks like and so this mm -hmm. is kind of the time of year when we kind of look at some charitable giving you know uh mm -hmm. and we normally try to pick uh you know people that have brought us some sort of joy or you know great causes Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've been doing a little thinking about it and, uh, you know, a little praying on it. And, uh, you know, I think I'm ready to make a couple of donations. Okay, cool. Sounds what, like a plan. What What do you think a reasonable amount is? That's not my place. That's your place. Whatever you feel led to give is what you give. That's not. That is true. When people make donations, it, it should be up to the to the person. Also, guys. Tomorrow night, Anna, a.k.a. Underhaven, a.k.a. Unterhaven, a.k.a. Jeff Holiday, is going to be speaking to Mr. Von Helton. At least I do believe it's tomorrow night. If I'm wrong on that, I'll, I'll correct myself later. But, yes, Anna is going to be speaking to Von. Everyone be shocked and amazed. Hello, hello, Jinyu. The Mango, you have the corner. Good morning, Mango and Dr. Small Human Esquire. Dr. Small Human, what's on the docket today? Are we doing doctor stuff or lawyer stuff? It sounds as though uh, he is playing with his fire truck, which means he's doing lawyer business today. Why is Underhaven Jeff? Uh, <laughs> Von Helton thinks that uh, Jeff Holiday is who is in charge of Unterhaven. Don't know how that one came about, but Von Helton thinks that Jeff Holiday is Unterhaven or Underhaven. So. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow night. If I'm wrong, I will correct that in the morning. Yes, Ashley, once uh, we're done on here, I will absolutely send you that cover. 
That makes no sense. I asked Jeff and he was confused as fuck. Yeah, no, we're all confused by that. But it would actually be kind of funny if Anna finally is able to convince Vaughn that she's not Jeff Holiday. Hey, Ivy. Hmm, not that late. No, no. You're right in time. We're talking about Vaughn Hilton. Uh, that's not up to me. I don't what, decide those things. What What do you think about 200 each? That's fine by me. And and how would I go about doing that? Cash app. It's right there at the bottom. Cash, of the hmm, cash app. Yep, right there at the bottom. Uh, of the I'll give you the link. I'll give you the link. Uh, huh, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, fact, I'll on the big screen you can see it. James Paul Vaughn helped it on the cash app. So, so I was actually trying to get it to Stivers and James Arnold Frost. Oh, <laughs> fucking loser. James Arnold Frost. Oh, <laughs> fucking loser. Okay, we're back. Oh my god. That is probably the best way to piss off Vaughn. That is the best way to piss off Vaughn. Go and talk about donations. Oh yeah, 200 each. That works, that works. <laughs> but it's not for fucking Vaughn. It's for the people he hates. <laughs> I love it. Are you <laughs> what, what the best you got? You're gonna waste your time. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let me tell you something. You don't. You know what you do, motherfucker? You go on ahead and you give some money to Frost and give some money to Stivers, and I'll make damn sure you go to jail right along with them when they go to jail. Sound like a plan? Do it, fucker. I dare you to do it. I dare you to call them right fucking now and give them some money so that I can throw your motherfucking lily white ass in a goddamn jail cell right along with them. It's called collusion, you fuck. You might want to look that shit up. These motherfuckers killed my mother and my father, drove my wife insane, and got my kids taken away from me, and stole every fucking ounce of money I've got. I thought that was the trolls, haters, and the naysayers. I thought that was the trolls, haters, and naysayers. Since when was it them? Also, the you killed your mom. You left her on the floor for hours and hours and hours. And then you did a live stream after she finally got taken to the hospital. If you're going to play with that, you need to play with that in the other room, please. Thank you. I appreciate you. Hello, sweet puppy dog. But that, that was you. You drove your wife insane. I mean, uh, you know, she she was already, like, a little bit messed up, but you just made everything worse? Yeah. You got your kids taken away. I love that one fucking believable. Lovely to see you. I hope that you're doing well. Hello, brainless. Howdy, friends. I'm tired. I, too, am tired. I'm fucking exhausted. I think I'm running on, you know, fumes. Which gives the sense of energy. Vaughn also has immaculate parenting skills, much like Shani. Yes, such immaculate parenting skills that CPS had to get involved, you know? Just couldn't stay with him. How is he going to go to jail for donating? Ah, see, Vaughn likes to say that if he donates to the Stivers and the Frosts, it is collusion. Collusion. Now, collusion is secret or illegal cooperation or conspiracy, in speci especially in order to cheat or deceive others. Um... Collusion is not something that would be being done here because usually, 
especially like in a legal sense, it's between ostensible opponents that are in a lawsuit and said person that would be donating to the Frosts and Stivers isn't a part of the lawsuit. Nothing to do with the lawsuit. So he's not colluding with anyone. He's just donating money. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the Satellite Man. Hi, Satellite Man. It was, it was all the Satellite Man. My bad. Uh, that's my mistake. Oh, goody. Von Lunacy. Yes, we love Von Lunacy. Any donation to someone he doesn't like is clearly aimed at destroying his family, you see. Ah, yes. Should have known. I should have known. I have been constantly tired since my two seizures, thankfully, have been on meds since the end of February and not had another one. That is really good. I'm glad that you haven't had another one there, Glober Mom, because uh, fucking seizures will, they'll take it out of you. They will take it out of you. And so, in other words, everyone's a suspect. Yes. Everyone is a suspect to Vaughn and John. Mostly just Vaughn. No. I got you. Hold up. Do, 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 do. Pickles. 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 You go enjoy your nap there, brainless. I may or may not take a nap later. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Vaughn can keep crying. I use his tears as ice cubes in my four logos. <laughs> Satellite man knows how to get OG four logos. It's probably why he's so bad with his aim. They are criminals. And your ass is sitting there saying you're going to help them? I hope you do. Because I'll throw your fucking ass in jail right yeah. along with them. I don't give a fuck. Except you're not throwing anyone's ass in jail. Uh, in order for someone's ass to go to jail, it would have to be a criminal case, not a civil case. Now, civil cases can absolutely be turned into criminal cases. We have seen it happen before with uh, Alex Murdoch. Civil cases can absolutely 100% become criminal cases. But, <clears throat> Vaughn, you don't have the power to do that. And your case as it stands is not an actual case, even for civil court. So... I need to study the graph on how stupid Vaughn is. There may be pickles, but what about his graph? Is there a graph sh to show rise of happiness from that quality pickle content? Man, three requests back to back for the graph? You guys got it. Look at this graph. <laughs> My aim is fine. Tony Chase is just the dodgeball world champion. <laughs> That makes sense. That man is constantly on the move. You should get Spongebob saying imagination specifically for Shani and Ref. I should. I should. I have a nice little collection of things. <laughs> That's quite unfortunate for the person involved. How will they sit down while their ass is in jail? <laughs> oh my god. User 2, your jokes are just... Oh my god. Yeah, he has nothing. A claim of Replevin is not... A claim of Replevin not tied to any other action. Yeah. He, he has nothing. At all. Whatsoever. Hello, hello, Stangdahl. Hmm. Lee, 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 Lee. 
<laughs> Chad Kroger was only happy with the fact his band sucks. Actually, like, Nickelback is still going strong. They're still good. People still like them. They're, they're very much dad rock. Now, if only his marriage to Avril Lavigne hadn't failed. Because people keep forgetting that he was married to Avril Lavigne. I unironically like Nickelback. Honestly, same. Same. I don't get all that Nickelback hate. I really don't. You can sue anyone for anything. You just gotta have money to file the paperwork. Welcome to the Catch-22 of Vaughn's life. <laughs> yeah, you, you can sue anyone for anything. Uh, didn't the CPS report indicate that Vaughn is an undiagnosed paranoid schizophrenic? I actually do not know. I do not know the answer to that. I would have to do some research. Um, I am unsure. <coughs> yeah, we got all sorts of nickel bands. Nickelback fans. Nickel band fans. Damn, I am so good at words today. Thanks to everyone talking about Sonic food in my Discord last night. I'm ordering Sonic for lunch. <laughs> oh. If there was a Sonic near here, it would be on my treat stream. Just because, like, Sonic. Mm. But, uh, do have... If anyone has the link to the treat stream, I think it's in my, uh... My link tree. I don't fucking know. But... Small human has stuff on there. If Sonic were near here, I would have their uh their pulled pork tachos on there. Because those are actually pretty fucking good. Pulled pork tachos were pretty dope. I am a fan of the tachos. Hey, Two Guns! To be honest, I only stopped liking Nickelback because all of their singles were way too overplayed. And also, it's... To me, it's boring dad rock, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with that. Some people are uh, really into dad rock. Some people are not. I, myself... I'm a fan of, of most dad rock. Bigger fan of metal, but do enjoy dad rock. Food talk is not helping with me being hungry. Yeah, no, it's not going to help at all. <laughs> Love Sonic's mod sticks. Small human eats their mozzarella sticks in a really weird way. Uh, he removes the breading from their mozzarella sticks. And he'll have a bite of the cheese from the inside, a bite of the breading, and then chase it with marinara. I don't know what that is, but... He's weird. And if you think I can't do it, you're an idiot. So you go right on ahead. You fucking get your nose shoved right up the Frost's ass and see if you don't go to jail right along with him. See if you don't. Come on, you're retarded. No. You're <laughs> retarded. I hope you both starve to death. You're retarded. <laughs> Sorry. That just... 
That happened so fast. I was not expecting that. <laughs> it only has this no you. He's like a child. He has no actual comeback or anything. Because you're a dumbass. Because anybody helping the frost is going to jail. Suck anybody him, that helps the frost is Suck. going to jail. You fucking understand plain English? Anybody that helps the frost is going to jail. They killed Come my here. mother and father, you dumb motherfucker. Hello? You think they're gonna you think they're not gonna go to jail? You think they're gonna get away with this shit? No, they're not. Of course he's not gonna go to jail. Of course he's not gonna go to jail. He hasn't fucking done anything. Oh my fucking god. And uh yes, Charizard, four logos now makes a marinara flavor. <laughs> oh my god. Just it Jim, who is the guy that just said that to Vaughn. Uh, he's just laughing up a storm over this because what else can you do but fucking laugh at how stupid Vaughn is? Like, small humans mozzarella stick strategy is beyond our comprehension. You're just not prepared for his genius. No, I am I am not prepared for his genius. It happens. It happens. Hello, hello, Yami. That is a face. <laughs> They're not getting get away with nothing. <laughs> get rid of his ass. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's a piece of He's shit. Gone. I hope. I hope he does. I hope he contacts the frost. I hope he shoves his nose right up their ass because he'll go to jail right along with them. Because they're going to jail. You don't kill my parents. You don't drive my wife insane. You don't steal my fucking inheritance. You don't fucking lock me out of my own goddamn house. You don't fucking get my kids taken away from me and, and they think you're not going to go to jail for that shit? Yeah, bullshit. It don't work that way. You do go to jail. They're all going to jail. And these trolls are next. They're going to jail after the frost do. Just like... Again. Let's... Let's recap real quick. Um, Andrea already had a, her own personal issues that Vaughn made worse. The kids were taken by CPS 12 times before they were finally removed permanently on the 13th time. <clears throat> and that all had to do with the fact that, well, where they live... The social workers are overworked, underpaid, and there is just not enough resources. So reunification becomes the absolute best option, unfortunately. At least for them at the time. I don't know what happened to his dad. But with his mom, she... Dude, your mom had multiple strokes. You left her on the floor and was like, oh yeah, she. I thought that she was making a pallet. Bitch, you know she wasn't making a fucking pallet. I could have sworn he said his own mother told the doctor to leave those blockages in his father and that's what killed him. Oh well. Ooh. Ooh. I did not know that. Thank you, Todd. Hmm. Hey, Fat Photog. Potty training a puppy is not a crime. It's not? Hmm. You trolls left them clogs in his daddy's arteries. <laughs> what is it with idiots like Vaughn? He sounds like every frauditor on YouTube, including the Leet Laws. Yeah. He's... <sighs> Vaughn is one of those people that... Is, is very fascinating. Uh, you should hear his Petri dish earth theory. He believes in the Petri dish earth. 
do with that information what you will. <laughs> Multiple strokes. Are you sure she wasn't practicing her breaststroke for the Water Olympics? Oh, no. Yeah, his dad had double bypass surgery. Vaughn doesn't know. That means they go around the blockages. 190 IQ. He has the IQ of presidents. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to get that stuck in my head, Mama. <laughs> Look. Just don't touch my clogs. I, that's going to be stuck in my head all goddamn day. It was sad yet ironic that Vaughn took a photo of a dead puppy on top of a bunch of empty little Debbie boxes and said it was starved to death. Yeah. I hate the dead puppy stream. I really fucking do. That shit, that hurt me. The stuff with his kids hurt me. That hurt me. Mm. Like I said, I'm, I said what I said, and I mean what I mean, and it's all going to come to pass. What should happen, you know? But yeah, the dumbasses that think these people are going to get away with this. No, they're not. There is no statute of limitations on murder, you dumb fuck. There is no statute of limitations on that. But no one's being charged criminally for it. <clears throat> you deserve it. You got sauce in my pants stuck in my head. We might have to listen to that after this. Hmm. He meant what he said, and he said what he meant. An elephant's faithful 100%. <laughs> there's no statute of limitations on driving someone insane, and there's no statute of limitations on harming children. No, there is not. I defy you to, to prove it to me, because you can't. And so, yes, all these motherfuckers are going to prison. OK, you don't destroy a man's family. You don't destroy his finances. You don't rob the fucker, um, you know, and use Clay County to do it with. Yeah, no, that don't work. That don't work. And it helps if I unmute myself. Uh, I'm not sure driving someone insane is even illegal. Um, I think it all depends on where you live. And what laws they use. Um, I, I think that's. I think it depends on that. Because. I know that. You can get into. Major legal trouble for. Uh, torturing someone. And if the torture results in driving someone insane then but uh, I, I would have to look it up would be a little yeah it would be difficult to prove intent it would be clay county uh that's where vaughn lives it's clay county Is he trying to explain that everyone is involved in this murder, so it's going to be a Rico B? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Vaughn has to show evidence that the trolls did what he's claiming to get them charged criminally, but I doubt he has any evidence. Well, not only that, but... Uh, okay, so... Vaughn has filed for Replevin to get 30, what was it, $32 million, uh, his properties and his children back, even though his children have been legally adopted. So... Yeah, he wants to replev in his own kids. Because an AI lawyer, aka chat GPT, told him that they count as property. Yvonne can't do anything. Vaughn will never successfully do anything in court. 
he uses AI lawyers. Trolling is mental torture of an elderly disabled Vaughn. <laughs> hey, Jakai. Happy birthday. Glad to see you. Hope you're doing well. And I hope you are enjoying your birthday. You drive someone insane through extreme emotional abuse. I imagine it's probably illegal. Like girl bossing someone into insanity. No, yeah, that would make sense. Hey, hey, no one really matters but cats. Lovely to see you. Hope you're doing well. You were plebeian property that's involved in a separate dispute. It's a claim of temporary custody. While that other dispute is resolved, Vaughn is always wrong. Vaughn is wrong about everything in life. These judges, let's, let's, let's take the extreme route and say that these judges really were paid. You think they're going to go a second round with it? No, no, they're not because they don't want to risk getting caught. They don't want to risk losing their judgeship, their, their, uh, their uh, bench. Like if a company breaks a contract, but keeps equipment you bought for their job to get it back while the contract dispute is ongoing, you are a in that equipment. Ah, Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for explaining that, Todd. Thank you. I see Vaughn is Cyrax's legal team because they're both delusional as fuck. <laughs> judges are paid. There is no if. Yeah, judges judges get paid. <sighs> Vaughn is just so, how can you be so consistently wrong all the time? All the time. He isn't wrong about being the Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> no, he's not wrong about that. There's no Vaughn was wrong videos, haters. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to risk that and they're not going to risk it. So even, even if you make the claim that they were paid off initially, they're not going to, they're not going to do it a second time. No, they're not. No, they're not. Cause they're not going to want to lose their, their bench. Okay. They're just not. The attorney general is watching. The governor's office is watching. Oh, the governor's office is watching. Don't forget, he has two years of real estate law school under his belt. That's right. That's right. He's got real estate law school. <laughs> it's easy. Just make shit up. Vaughn's very good at that. Vaughn is great at that. Vaughn is fantastic at that. Vaughn is very delusionally special. <clears throat> yeah. The FBI is watching. Oh, so FBI. anybody stupid enough to, to side with the frost is going to go to jail right along with them. Sorry. That's just the way it is, man. Deal with it. I don't mm. give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. He just does not give a fuck. You guys. He does not give a fuck. No, he gives many fucks. He, well, you heard him. He said he gives no fucks. He gives no fucks. <clears throat> he said so. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, what do we have next? We are going to take a brief dance break. 
and then we will watch a Shani video. And then after the Shani video, we have a Food Dudes video, and then that'll be it for today. <clears throat> so let's uh let's get saucy. Woo! Okay, that condom fucking reeks. Say I got sauce in my pants, god damn it. 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 Got sauce in my pants. Say I got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants, god damn it. Got sauce in my pants. I tell ya. Well, say I got pants. Say I got sauce. You know I got pants. You know I got sauce. Got sauce in my pants. Got sauce in my pants. You know I got sauce in my pants. Some of this sauce in my pants. Son of a bitch. Sauce in my pants. God damn it. Got sauce in my pants. God damn it. Got sauce in my pants. God damn it. Got sauce in my pants. Say I got sauce in my pants. God damn it. Got sauce in my pants. God damn it. Got sauce in my pants. God damn it. Got some of this. Got some of this. Got some of this. Got some of this. Sauce. Pants. Sauce. Pants. Pants. Sauce. Pants. Pants. Sauce. Pants. Pants. Sauce. He's got sauce on his pants, god damn it. And that was from The Walnut Grove. Everyone, please go subscribe to The Walnut Grove. They're spectacular. I know that says Red Hot, but it looks like Red Ho. <laughs> it's Frank's Red Ho. <laughs> All right, so while I get this pulled up, we have, because it's a Shani video, so of course, from Frank, a.k.a. Crude AF, a.k.a. Well, a very questionable person. We have the Shamlets. <laughs> we love the Shamlets. Thank you, Todd, for posting their link. I absolutely appreciate you. So, uh, this one comes to us from the 5th, because I don't, when was the last time we put out a video? Um, hold on, let me see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the last time they put out a video was that really high video where they talked about, uh, Carrie being into BBC, which was just weird. Um, but this one's called People Annoy Me. So what what type of people annoy you and why are you so annoyed there, Shani? People really fucking annoy me. Yeah? When they invalidate me. No. Oh. So my last video, I was lying down. I, I, I didn't know I couldn't do that. But they're comparing me with Life by Jen, by the way. I block them. I don't give a shit. For the last two something months, I've been working at losing weight. Where and how, bitch? Where and how?
Also, you said that you would, like, gain so much weight. And it was concerning because you don't eat. You're like a bird. And then suddenly, oh, I've lost 30 pounds in two weeks. Hmm. Who is paying their bills? It seems as though they are living pretty well. It also seems the water is on. Uh. Hmm. I would say the uncle. <laughs> I would say the uncle is paying them. Oh no, she was saying that she wanted a whoopie pie. She wanted a whoopie pie. We watched that one uh, yesterday. Can you fathom any reason why anyone would invalidate Shani after she made all those Freemason videos about drag with the boule. Man. Working at, working on fake college student. God. Yeah. Yeah. She's, look, sometimes I mess up when I speak and I usually say I can English so good. But at least I don't do that. <laughs> the where regarding the weight loss, the lost weight are her kids, which she doesn't have. Also, Rev. Mm, yes. Rev definitely counts towards that. Um, by the way, the hubby is eating a a pie, so. That's all me right there, man. Praise God. Yeah, I actually, I eat. Because <laughs> I starve him, right? <clears throat> but. Oh, you let him have a pie just for this video? That's so sweet. What the fuck? Like, that is, that is most definitely just, like, a performative pie. That's a performative pie. How does her hair always look so greasy? It looks wet. My hair was that dirty it would drive me crazy. Oh, yeah, no, I, I've told my bestie that if at any point my hair looks anything remotely like that, force me into the shower, because that means that my depression has gotten to a really bad point, and you need to help snap me the fuck out of it. I don't like my hair to look like that. I don't like it to feel like that. I can hardly go, like, a day and a half, two days without doing something to it, even if it's just something as simple as dry shampoo. Like, I can't. After this video, she's gonna harm him up side the head for that pie. Oh, it, it's just gonna be one simple whoosh. He's gonna be gone. Mmm, performance art pie. I forever feed us toenail. Yes, we love performance art pie. If this turns into a cunnilingus thing, I'm going to give Rev a sock bath. <laughs> no worries, Mango. I'll just turn the hose on you. Well, I appreciate that, too. <laughs> anyway. How... How would you even be capable of starving me anyway? Oh, it's really easy, Rev. Um, denying you food. Hoarding the food. Yelling at you over food. So that way you feel guilty whenever you try and eat food. Should I keep going? Because like this has been an ongoing theme for years. 
years. Oh yeah, small human is having the best time. He's having a very good day. I, I'm trying to understand that. Like, I have you drugged up and control you. Oh. I was just curious how that could happen. That's the theory. Okay. Thanks. But it's like, your obesity is causing you the pain. Ignorance. And it's like, do you know anything that's happening to me medically for you to feel confident enough to say that malarkey? You clearly have not been listening to what I've been saying about my pain. Well, we, we've been listening to what you say about your pain. It's just, uh, we don't believe you because usually your pain and your dying shtick comes around at a time that you need like lots of cash or you want lots of cash or you're in the mood for takeout food rather than whatever you can get from the food bank or you want to buy ridiculously expensive fucking organic food from Wegmans because you're trying to say that you you're on this weight loss journey when you haven't done jack shit but buy the expensive food Oh, yeah, she definitely does. She also moves fast when angry. Taking control of all the high-calorie foods and giving him peanut butter and crackers would do it. Oh, yeah, that would definitely do it. How the heck does 600 pounds on your joints not cause pain? Well, see, for her, it's because, uh, you know, it, it's because she smashed that one knee that one time. And so her osteo developed in her hip. And it's the osteo and the, uh, the fibro and the cystic fibrosis that she developed at 19, because that's totally a thing that can happen. I wish I had a Wegmans. Hmm. Plus, she shows no proof. Yes, that too. The only thing that we've seen proof of is the fact that she was diagnosed with uh, osteo. And that was back in December of 2021. We haven't seen anything since. This is a good pause screen. I'm going to take a screenshot of that face because it's great. And where it's been directed from and how it's getting there. Should I have to repeat myself? Because I've really done repeating myself. Just because you watch fucking YouTube videos about me obsessively, like some fucking weirdo, does not mean you know anything about my fucking life. Because a lot of people make shit up. They put un untrue things in people's minds. 
and cause people to doubt. But I'm just going to continue living my life, knowing very well that I blocked you because you are repeating those same fucking lies. And I will not have lies on my comments. Uh, can she finish her sentence a little faster? I know. I know. I honestly should probably speed her up, actually. Hold on. We'll, we'll try that. Shaw has said before that she doesn't understand how I can sit there and watch Shani at normal speed. <laughs> it's a talent that I possess, apparently. Stop all the lying. I don't... She talks at half the speed of smell. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a dubbed kung fu movie. <laughs> oh, man. I I just love the fact that uh her phone or their phone constantly messes up and does that shit. It's like every other video it's like we're watching a dubbed movie. It's hilarious. Now, people should know it's just inaccurate to say apple fritter being a fucking pig. Anyway, it should be known and said that the doctors do not diagnose her as obesity is the problem. No, it's not. That's a damn fucking lie. That is a damn fucking lie. You want to know how I know that that is a damn fucking lie? Because when you are overweight, it does not matter how much overweight you are. It, the doctor's immediately going to go to, oh, it would help if you lose some weight. Especially if you are a, a woman. Doesn't matter if you're a cis woman, a trans woman, does not matter if you were female presenting and you were overweight, even the slightest, they will definitely, definitely go with, no, oh, well, have you considered losing some weight? Have you tried losing weight? Obesity is definitely part of the problem. It may not be the number one problem, depending on uh, what underlying issues are present, but it's definitely part of the problem. This whole thing she does saying people are putting things in our heads really pisses me off. What exactly are we lying about? Show us proof of our lies. She can't because she knows we're right. Yeah, she can't at all. She's so stupid. Stupid. Oh, it's physically painful. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I moved the wrong way and it made me yawn. That was weird. Uh, yes, she does actually, Glibermoth. She does indeed. I have MS, but my doctor still tells me that losing weight would help. Yeah. There's no way that they haven't told her that she should lose some weight. Tell the doctor it would help if he lost your cocky attitude. <laughs> Wise words from Billy and Portly. I'm five foot, 180, trying to lose weight, but at least I'm trying. Yeah. At least you're trying. Losing weight requires work. Shani doesn't work, nor does she bathe. Kind of wish her misery would end by her own hand. But once again, that requires work. It does indeed require work. 
Hmm. My docs want me to gain a few pounds. When I was in hospital recently, I was on double portions. And I'm a foodie. Hey, it happens, though. Like, it, it happens. I am slowly getting down to 200 pounds, but that is because I can't exercise and I can't eat much of anything solid right now. Testing right now to find out why. I hope y'all can figure out why that is, Mama. Because that sounds uncomfortable and awful. Her underlying health issues, the weight's a consequence of her, it's the consequence of the osteoarthritis, basically. That's her main issue. So it's not accurate to say that obesity is her problem. It's not. That's it. Yeah. I'm not going to die like life by gens. I mean, God bless that person. What even happened to them? They I don't know. I never watched them. No, that was not somebody we watched. But I really wish people mm. would stop comparing others to others because they're fat. That's so dumb. That's. Are, do you compare black people to black people because they're black? Oh my God. Well, it's, it's basically the same thing. It is, yeah. Or Asians are the same. Or white people are all, all look the same or native people all look the same. Fat people all look the same, so they have to have the same things in common. God. Um, weird comparison, uh, because talking about fat people, uh, fat people come in, you know, all races. Uh, so no, all, not all fat people look the same, but a lot of fat people do have a lot of the same issues. A lot of fat people have the same issues. So... Race is not the same as obesity. You can do something about being fat. Yes, and if you can't do something about being fat, then that is a conversation to have with your doctor. Because some people will try extraordinarily hard to lose weight, and then they'll find out that they have issues like uh, Hashimoto's, or a variation of Hashimoto's, and there's nothing that they can do without like receiving actual medical intervention and getting on the right meds and help regulate things. So, I mean, if you, if you're having trouble losing weight and no matter, like, even if you do it all correctly, you exercise, you're eating right, you're doing the things you're supposed to do. If you can't lose weight, then, uh, be sure to consult with your doctor. And yes, some medications cause people to gain weight. Absolutely. I will admit that I got super depressed when I got my diagnosis and ate my feelings. Went from 160 to 189. Doing better with it now that my treatment is starting. And I'm glad that you're doing much better with it now. And eating emotions is definitely a, a thing that a lot of people have struggled with uh i know plenty of people that eat their emotions sometimes when small human is sad he'll eat some fruit as i i'm trying to not have him do what i used to do and eat them in uh unhealthy foods <laughs> my issue is that i like sonic chili cheese tater tots I, too, like Sonic Chili Cheese Tater Tots. Mmm, Sonic. 
Why does food have to taste so good? Uh, why not? <laughs> Can't go wrong with fried. I like fried mushrooms and artichoke hearts. Ooh. I've never had fried artichoke hearts. I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, but... I eat my emotions. They taste like disappointment. <laughs> emotions taste better with hummus or guacamole. Okay, fun fact. Fun fact with Mino. I've never had guacamole. I've tried avocado. Avocado has a texture that I'm just not a huge fan of, so uh, I've never had guacamole. That's offensive. It's so fucking offensive really and is. stupid. Horrible. Yeah. Fat people aren't a monolith. Who would ever think that? And especially in terms of healthcare. Uh, you're right. Fat people are not a monolith. And they do have different things uh, that are that are issues, but uh, you know what, Rev, you're stupid. I Why do I try? I'm currently going through a mystery chubby stage. I can't figure out why I gained weight. It's almost like I'm bloated. I'm thinking of seeing a doctor about this. I would talk to a doctor about it, Mari. I would definitely, uh, I'd definitely talk to someone about it. I don't know life by, by Jen, but what was her issue? Did she have an eating disorder? Shani does not. Shani does not binge eat. Ab she's been forced to really cut back drastically on her food. So you're just don't say these stupid things because it's just you don't know what you're talking about, number one. Just because she's he on the heavy side does not mean that that is her main health issue because it, it's not. The other things are way worse that she's dealing with. The weight is a consequence. That's it. And she qualifies for bariatric surgery for that reason. She got heavy because of her health conditions. And getting the weight off would help her joints, you know? So. Jen had cancer. Oh, so it wasn't about her obesity at all. What the? Uh, once again, for those of you that don't know... Uh, Shani has not been approved for bariatric surgery. Shani apparently was referred to a bariatric surgeon for a consultation because she meets the qualifications for that at the very least. But there has not been any sort of a... you know, actual consultation done yet. She has not been, she has not consulted the surgeon or done anything. Shani wants the Ozempic, right? She... Shani said that she hopes that she has diabetes so that she can get put on Ozempic. Shani hopes that she has diabetes so she can be put on Ozempic. Because that makes sense. Yeah. Yes, Shani is a medical professional. She spent a lot of many years, a lot of many years in the medical field, according to her. My brother has diabetes and Ozempic is in short supply right now. He can't even get it. Yeah, it's because there's so many people that 
well, somehow are able to pay out of pocket and get it, and it's awful. Because it's not helping those that actually need it. The one that was developed for weight loss uh, and not for, you know, people with diabetes, Wegovi. Wegovi is very expensive. And a lot of times, uh, people can't get their insurance to cover Wegovi. But they can get their insurance to cover Ozempic. I have a thin friend who was just diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I don't understand how she doesn't have it too. Human bodies are weird. Bodies are weird. Everyone's different. I watched a documentary about Ozempic. Apparently, when it goes wrong, it kills the patient. So, in other words, a highly effective cure for obesity and also life. Mm, very effective. You gotta love losing life. I had no luck at all getting my insurance to cover Ozempic. They just won't. Yeah, and that's fucking stupid. That's stupid. You should be able to, like, get your insurance to cover it because you actually need it. You know, just a thought. <laughs> I mean, I, I still can't get small humans insurance to cover his seizure medications. Which makes no fucking sense because he has to take it every day. <sighs> she doesn't want diabetes. I am type 2, but not on meds because my blood sugar is controlled. But I still get low blood sugar issues. It's not fun to go through. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wish to have diabetes. I wouldn't wish for someone to have diabetes because... Like, there's, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And there's a lot that can go wrong if you don't take care of yourself properly. Why would you, why would you sit there and want to have it? Uh, the celebs are buying it and losing weight without exercising, I hear. Is that true? Uh, so there have been a lot of celebrities that have lost weight with it. Um, I don't know whether they exercise or not, but Ozempic, Wegovi, they pretty much trick your brain into being full. So, you know, your caloric intake is reduced and everything like that. But I just, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I lost a lot of weight on it. Everyone that saw my workout vids will attest, yes, yes. I can attest to that. I saw your workout vids. Small humans meds not being approved for insurance is the biggest mystery. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I don't understand it. We have submitted all of the paperwork. We have the MRIs. We have the CTs. We have the EEGs. We have all the things that they need that says, hey, look. He has seizures. He needs this medication so he doesn't have seizures. And what do they do? Not provide medication. So what happens? He has seizures. He hasn't had one in a bit because we, thanks to all of y'all's help, we have been able to get his meds and he's been able to take it nightly. So he hasn't had seizures. So that's good, especially because they increased his dosage. But like, it's it's a necessary thing. He has to have it. Like, insurance sucks. I got Ozempic from a men's clinic for about $100 a shot. Oh, that's not bad. 24 weeks worth. Lost about 40 pounds. 
But I was also exercising a lot. That's fair, yeah. Here, if you have a lifelong medical condition like diabetes, your meds are free. Well, like a two hundred uh, or $2.50 government levy, but even that gets waived after a certain amount. That's... I wish it were like that here. Damn. This is why you people are so fucking stupid. Like, straight up. That's awesome wisteria. I'm, I'm just, I... No words how stupid you are. <laughs> That's how silent I've been. Yeah. Just like she died of cancer. <laughs> I thought she died of obesity. No, it was cancer. So you're literally just connecting Janny and Jen because they're both on the heavy side. Okay. I mean, if that's how your brain works. Last time <clears throat> I checked, skinny people get cancer too. Uh, definitely. A lot of people get cancer, you know, and a lot more people are going to get cancer because if you Google Fukushima. Oh God. F U K I S H I M A. Fukushima. You would know that an earthquake and a tidal wave destroyed a nuclear facility. And because of that, the wastewater of the nuclear facility, AKA the radiation, seeped into our oceans and it's been radiating us ever since. And not only that, 5G causes cancer, and that shit is everywhere. 5G does not cause cancer. 5G does not cause cancer. 5G does not cause cancer. You know that 5G has actually been available on your home uh, Wi-Fi networks for years? Years. You, you've been able to switch over and... Use your uh, 5G connection. Um, 5G does not cause cancer. It does not cause cancer. I heard her say Fukushima at first, not Fukushima. Oh my god. <laughs> Billiam. <laughs> Do not bring up Fukushima Shani. Listen to Mari. She will not stand for this. The moon is a hologram. Yes. Yeah, because Japanese people have a huge obesity problem. What's your point? <laughs> hey, hey, Undead Ramen. Welcome in. It's lovely to see you. 5G not only causes cancer, but it gives you wet brain. Ah. Oh. Damn, Charizard. I wish I would have known about that before. What am I drinking all these four locos for? Fuck. It's nuclear, not nuclear. Uh. Is it, though? <laughs> I don't... I, I've always said nuclear. I know a few people that say nuclear, but... Uh, we're we're all talking about the same thing. We're not assholes about it. So, I mean, you can say how you choose. My home Wi-Fi is 5G. Came with an autism upgrade, though. Hey! Did you switch autism levels? Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Wait, wait, wait. Why is she using this as a way to say she actually does have cancer? Also, I was in Berlin when Chernobyl happened. I may actually have gotten irradiated. She's an idiot. She is an idiot. I, she, okay. This might be like a weird segue for her to be able to start claiming cancer again. Because she's talking about Life by Jin. Who, from what I understand, uh, passed away from cancer. But I'm unsure. I don't really know anything about her. But she's talking about how everyone... And a lot more people are going to get cancer because of the radiation in the water and 5G. So, it feels like this is a segue for her to start claiming cancer again real soon. We already had one version of the uh, cancer grift in January. And it's April now, so we're, we're probably looking for a May a nice little May cancer grift going on. Nah, just more Sims. Like a DLC pack. <laughs> we drink four locos to paint lawn furniture at 3am while blasting Slipknot. Fuck yeah, we do. The moon is a reflection of the earth off the glass stone. <laughs> Does it make the freaking frogs gay? Yes. It's a chemical in the water that turns the freaking frogs gay. We're all dying of cancer. We just haven't found out at all. You know, it's like the walking dead when the CDC director said we're all infected to Rick Grimes. It's like that. We all have cancer and we're all dying. That's why the Bible said there'll be no flesh left because everything has cancer. Because mankind destroyed the earth. It's it's biblical. It's biblical. Scientists everywhere are saying we're at the fifth mass extinction. I love everybody. Ten dollars for cigarettes. That was trap. Sorry. What do you want me to do? Hold on. Let me run that back a little bit. Scientists, Scientists everywhere are saying we're at the fifth mass extinction. I love everybody. Ten dollars for cigarettes. I love everybody. Ten dollars for cigarettes. I love everybody. Will someone pay my mortgage? <laughs> uh... I mean, you heard him. He loves everybody. He needs $10 for cigarettes. What that it was just it was so random. It just it hit out of nowhere. I love everybody. Ship me a fucking baconator. <laughs> I don't think it'll be good by the time it gets to you, Griffin Doggo. I had skin cancer, but that was due to years of sun exposure as a kid. That makes sense. That makes sense. I thought it was the sixth mass extinction, but I could be wrong because I am not as expert as Shani or Vaughn. Oh, sorry about that. I sneezed. I love everybody. Pay my bills. <laughs> but I want a Baconator. Yeah. I know you do. I know. I love everybody. Y'all should hit that PayPal pool link. <laughs> I 
I love everybody. Will someone help my ex meet Aloha up close and personal? Uh, I cannot assist with that one. Um, let's see. My person that uh, gave me my autistic kid decided to uh, take himself out. So... Fun times. That was Tourette's. Sorry. What do you want me to do? That was Tourette's. Sorry. That was Tourette's. He said it was Tourette's. Griffin Doggo, you heard it correctly. He said it was Tourette's. Oh my god, you don't have Tourette's, dude. You just very quickly wanted to do an e-bag for cigarettes. Also, quit buying fucking cigarettes. Totally not a tick from being so close to his abuser. Well... I mean, apparently him saying, I love everybody, $10 for cigarettes, was a tick. That's not a tick. Bitch, I'm getting a Baconator. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm happy for you. You need to e back up, obviously. No, I, what the hell? Are you I literally just did that fast and I wasn't going to say anything. Well, I put you on blast. No, thanks. Jen could not fit in machines, which is why she did not get the treatment. What makes you think I can't fit in the fucking machines? I'm that's not, not what I don't think, That's not what she's saying. I don't think. Fuck you guys for saying that shit about me. I don't think that they were though. They're not saying about you. They're just saying. I don't give a shit. I have my period. I can be a bitch. You always so have your period. Yeah, I just want it known that the, her name... Bitch, you're constantly going on about having goddamn fucking period. I have my period. I can be a bitch. Having your period's not an excuse to be a piece of shit. Your mental health issues that you allege to have are no excuse for being a piece of shit. Everything that you do in life is because of your own actions and because you are a piece of shit. Just shut the fuck up and get the fuck over yourself. Jesus fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, small human. Yeah. This is stuff that caused the obesity. That's her actual. Yeah, she didn't say that. I used to hike five miles a day. I used to be athletic. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I used to be athletic. Look, I have seen Shani's picture from high school, and she was significantly smaller then than she is now. I have seen, you know, videos of her from before she was with Rev. And she was, while she wasn't ah. the smallest person in the world, she is most definitely smaller than she is now. But just because you were smaller doesn't mean that you were actually uh, ah. athletic, you know? It just means that you were smaller than you are now. There's a difference. Yeah, she needs food addiction and laziness is the issue. Yep, absolutely. I'm having a lovely stroganoff that I made from scratch. Ooh, that sounds really good, Todd. Hmm. She wasn't athletic. She wasn't obese, just more active. Yeah. She was just more active. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not, there's not anything else I need to say on this. He just needs cigarettes. Yeah. I'm sorry. If somebody would be awesome and really kind and cool because I'm out and I really would like, I just, it's a crutch. 
It's a crutch that someday I want to know. That's not it. I want to smoke for the rest of my life. You're taking a GB for y'all. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mackie. Well, it's, it's nice getting y'all in the morning. Good luck with those folks. Yeah, I appreciate you, Lynn. That's fine. Yo, crypto poor. Hey, crypto poor, could you freaking spare ten dollars for some cigarettes? I hate I hate it. It's disgusting and pathetic. You're poor by crypto, but you got ten you got ten bucks for cigarettes. Maybe we could not donate more if Shetty didn't rage us, us over nothing. Oh, go fuck yourself, motherfucker. Well, good luck with that. I'm done. I don't know who this dissection girl is. Go fuck yourself. I want everyone who is against this dissection girl to say go fuck yourself to her. You know, I mean, dissection girl was right though. Shani does rage at people over nothing. She rages at people over nothing. Like, don't. Why tell someone saying the truth? to go fuck themselves. Just use this to quit cold turkey, Rev. You will be better for it. Well, the thing is, uh, the last time Rev tried to quit something cold turkey, he uh, ended up wet brain. So, he's probably, probably very scared of doing anything cold turkey. Again, which I don't, I, I wouldn't blame him for that. He's, he, he was never the same again. Never donated to us. Shut the fuck up. Who the fuck are you? I don't know you. Who are you? Okay. Okay. I'm a perimenopausal menstrual woman right now. I'm 40 years old and I'm in horrible pain. I actually did a few months ago. Well, thank you for that, but you can go fuck yourself. You never answered my DM. Oh, you're a lying son of a bitch. How dare you? Only if Shannon pronounces all of her ends in any word that has an in it in it, then I'll send at the end of stream. Love you guys. There. I love you too. I love you too. No, I am not going to look at my requests. If listen from me, if you sent money and we did you DM this and we did and I didn't get back to you, I got him. Because Shannon don't do this shit no more. I do. I'm sorry I missed your message. Ah, yes. Rev, doing what he can to stick up for his scary mini perimenopausal menstruating person. Uh, no, user 2, the audio's unsynced. It's been like that for a little bit now. Uh, Glover Mom said it's like watching a badly dubbed movie. <laughs> I dare find, Shani. How dare you? Yes, how dare she? Hello, Brandon the Trash King. Lovely to see you. Shani becoming a cyber person. <laughs> Gargoyle voice Shani is scary as hell. I think it's hilarious. I think that it's absolutely terrifying for, uh, for Rev over there. Because he is in harm's way. He, he is definitely in harm's way, but day one of new job, I have done nothing and am scared. <laughs> way to be scared, Brandon. <laughs> hey, and thank you for the money.
Okay, I can say whatever I want. Just because you gave me money doesn't mean I can't say whatever I want to people who are fat shamers. Fat shamers. And not only that, ableists. Ableists. I can say whatever I want. <sighs> Okay. Look here, listen. First of all, people making comments to you, calling you a piece of shit, calling you a terrible person, saying that you're lazy, which you are, saying that you need to lose weight, which you should, uh, that does not make them ableist. Because you are not disabled. Let's get that straight. You are not disabled, so it is not, you know, it, learn what ableism actually means. Also, just fun fact, um, just because you claim being disabled and just because you claim mental illness and just because you claim certain things does not mean that you are allowed to say whatever you want. No. Like, yes, you, you have the right to freedom of speech. You do. But when you're on, like, you know, a privately owned platform, they don't have to do that. They can set their own rules, which they do. Uh, also, just because you have a right to free speech doesn't mean that you have freedom from consequences. It's just, I, I hate the stupidity. Rules for thee, but not for me, bullshit mentality. Yep. Because Shani can say whatever she wants, but people in her chat can never say whatever they want. Oh, hold on. Oh, to be fair. 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 They are ableist. They are able to pronounce their G's outside of her favorite word. <laughs> fair enough. That is fair enough. <laughs> no, Mayno. When you send me to the corner for some fucked up shit, ableism. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yes, I will. Rev, definitely message me after y'all's live. I know what it's like to need the nicotine. Thank you. I... Uh, oh, not only am I perimenopausal menstrual woman, I'm without cigarettes. Yes. You're, whoever that was, could you take note of the name, please? What? Take note of the name. Mayhem Mackey. Thank you, bro. Okay. Not if you're e-vegan. I wasn't e-vegan. He's e-vegan. <laughs> Woo. That was a mood swing. You want to see the fucking face of the person that will ask for the goddamn money? It's right here. I said, oh, $10 cigarettes and passed it. That was a message to anybody that, oh, okay, cigarette money, yeah, here you go. Because there's cool people like that that don't make a big deal out of this shit. That's the deal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to feel bad for being irritated because someone's fat shaming me. Yeah, you're getting fat shamed, bro. That's what, that's literally what the person in that comment. But you're fat. And it's not necessarily fat shaming to just tell you the truth of the matter that you need to lose some weight 
especially because all of your issues that you have been talking about and the fact that you have said stuff about like needing you know to lose weight for surgery like yeah people are going to tell you to lose weight that's not fat shaming that's just telling you what you're supposed to be doing ah uh. And yes, apparently she's having mood swings. All these mood swings and she hasn't blamed her BPD? No. She's going to blame her perimenopause and being on uh, her period while perimenopausal. Yep. This time it's not BPD. It's just that. It's just that. I just... That's definite. Life by Jen. What the fuck do you have to do with life by Jen? Did yeah, just exactly. You were laying down. Exactly. Me? Yeah, thank you, Mayhem. Yeah, you're the shit. I like him. He's really awesome. He's a shit, man. He's awesome to talk to. Yeah, man. I can say whatever I want. Yes, you can. And you just do. You do. I can be irritated if someone's fat shamed. Who are you to tell me how I feel and how I should respond? Yeah, I agree. If you don't like me, I don't give a shit. Like low ball, you know, life by Jen. Like, why do you bring that up? Why would why would you bring the person up? Yeah, right. Because you were said because you, you said you felt like you were dying or something. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't get it. Why, why? I'm in pain all the time. I'm having a lot of problems walking. There's something seriously wrong with me. Yeah, you have mobility, a massive mobility issue. And the doctors are trying to figure out what's wrong with me, and they don't fucking know, but they know there's something seriously fucking wrong. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you need to know the fucking truth, but to be fat shamed when I'm, I'm working towards something, fuck you. We'll leave it to it's people. being fucking negative like that is why women give up mm -hmm. who are trying to actively lose weight. It's negative comments like that. Okay? It's, it's comments like that that killed life by Jen if she died of obesity. It didn't help her not get fat. Okay? What? What? Uh, what? <laughs> Comments on the internet about needing to lose weight wouldn't have killed life by Jen if her passing was caused by obesity. That's not... What? I, I am confused. I am concerned. I am going to switch over to our last video for the day. And then I need to go uh, wash dishes. And maybe eat something. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm, I'm still all fucked up from that food poisoning so let's uh let's switch over to the to the last video for today we're going to go with the food dudes video this food dude noah of course here for treats Now, this time, he, uh, he titled the video correctly, Learn This From My Imaginary Italian Grandma. I might have triggered Carrie a bit this morning. Oh, really? 
How'd you manage that one, Todd? <laughs> What'd you do this time? Did you just exist? Because it seems like your existence really just bothers people. I'm sorry, going through an exhausting time makeup. <laughs> Thank you, Mari. <laughs> yes, it is an exhausting time. I did get replacement eggs, though. Because <laughs> uh, small human really likes eggs. So, oh, comment on this stream. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I really want to see how... Uh, how Todd managed to uh, piss off Gary. Because I think it's funny, personally. Hold on. Let me pull that. Get it pulled up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, no, YouTube. Uh, I not YouTube. Thanks for the offer. Not interested. Oh, and yes. Uh, be sure to sub be sure to subscribe to Jim Manning. Let's see. And switch tabs. Scroll down. Get these comments to load. <laughs> giving Carrie... Okay, so Todd said, No, giving Carrie hundreds of dollars will actually get you accused of trying to buy friends by her and her lemmings. Once they stop being fake to you, that is... Who, who cares what Todd does with Todd's money? It's Todd's money. <laughs> Todd doesn't doesn't buy friends on the internet. I, I don't think that there's anyone on the internet that Todd actually considers to be like an actual real friend because... Well, you know... Don't know anyone in real life. Like, what? Todd gives Todd's money because it's Todd's money. Uh, let's see. Why did she type so much? Why did she type so much? Okay, let's see. Is money all you think about? You won't stop talking about it? But if someone else talks about it, they're counting your pockets. Bullshit. You throw money at complete strangers online and then hold it over their head when they don't do what you like. You don't do it out of the kindness of your heart. You do it selfish, selfishly to get credit, attention, and some sort of power and control you think money can buy. It's so manipulative. If I could go back, I wouldn't have accepted your super chats. I don't need your money and I didn't ask for your money. So I really don't get why you want to put that on me and make it seem like I used you or fucked you over for it. That's just not true and you know it. Um. What? I... I've never seen Todd hold a donation over anyone's head. I have seen Todd crack jokes about, uh, like, in TGR chat. Every now and then, Todd will uh, do a super chat and 
make a joke about like rebuying his mod status. <laughs> but I've never seen Todd hold a donation over anyone said. I've seen Todd get mad at David Anthony because David Anthony lied about what the donation that Todd sent was needed for because he claimed one thing, which is why Todd sent the amount he did and come to find out it was something completely different. But like that's, that's a valid reason to not be happy with someone. But yeah, um, what? That makes no sense. Ah! This makes no sense. I do not understand. Okay. Todd does them things with his money and he can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, he can't stop, won't quit for the fans and the women's. See, even small human agrees. Yeah, small human. Small human also does not understand. Well, I mean, if she's really that regretful about me giving her about $500, she could always send it back. Oh, yeah, she could. No, she said that she, uh, she didn't need your money, so I assume that means that she has, like, the, the $500 to, to send back, right? Right? <laughs> When did any of us hold the donos over anyone's head? Like here, Todd certainly never did. Confusing. It is confusing, Mari. I don't... I don't get it. And I'm not going to pretend to get it because, well... I don't get it. Oh my god. Go subscribe to Jim Manning. Jim Manning's putting out uh, clips. Just, you know, for posterity. But yes. Let us... <laughs> let us watch Food Dude Noah do his thing. The whole buying friends narrative is just hilarious to me. I, I don't understand that. I don't get it. And of course, Todd, not a problem. Because, like, I had switched over to Discord real quick to check my messages, and I saw you post something about it in Shaw server. So I was definitely already curious about it. So I'm glad that you posted the link so that I could pull it up. Stop. Small human is being a small menace. Today we're making one of my favorite dishes. We're going to go ahead and start off by taking this mozzarella cheddar cheese and we're going to place that into a manicotti and shove it right down there. And now we have some... Manicotti. Manicotti. It's called a manicotti. Why do you keep calling it a manicotti? It's a manicotti. Ground beef fresh, we're going to actually take your manicotti shell and you're going to stuff that by hand until it's full <laughs> to the brim. Damn it, Todd. Malicotti. We're going to move this out of the way. We're going to need this for later. 
and we're going to go ahead and put this you guessed it right down there forming an entire layer of manicotti stuff with cheese and fresh beef Next, we have some. Why wasn't your Mies set up? If you're, if you're doing a cooking video, set up your Mies. Have your Mies. You have everything prepped and ready to go. Also, you have three bulbs of garlic right there. There's three bulbs of garlic, and you're about to use. Jarlic? Why would you use jarlic when you have fresh garlic? We need more grunts when he says stuff it. <laughs> fresh garlic. Next, we have some fresh garlic. We're going to go ahead and take some and about that much. And we're going to evenly sprinkle that over the entire dish, covering it. Make sure you get every square inch. And we have some of this sweet basil. Uh oh. My video just completely paused. Let me let me refresh this. Hold on. Cause that is unexpected. Fifty nine seconds in. You're for true. Let me see. I think it's just the little laptop that could, but can't have in a moment. Okay, so now we're at the basil. Basil, this stuff's amazing, you guys. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle that on. And I love putting pizza seasoning in this dish, so we're going to go ahead and take some of your favorite pizza seasoning and go ahead and sprinkle a little bit on top. Black pepper, we're going to fresh ground, salt. Now's when the fun begins. We go ahead and take that ground beef I told you to set to the side. We're going to go ahead and take some scoops of that, and we're going to go ahead and just scoop it on top of the macaronis and the manicotis and the cheese and just kind of get an entire layer of the beef, evenly spread that out, kind of press it down. And we want you to take some of your favorite pasta sauce and we whizzle that over the entire dish just like this and you want to go ahead and spread that out mixing it in with the beef making kind of a beefy pasta sauce why wouldn't you take the pasta sauce and all of the seasoning and the beef and mix it together and then put it on top why wouldn't you take all of the beef mix it with the pasta sauce and and then Take that and stuff it inside of those manicotti like you did with, you know, just the plain ground beef. Why? Why do? Why do? Why? Why do? It'll fresh grind pepper but uses garlic. I hate this guy. Yeah, It's very fair to hate this guy. It is. He took a perfectly good steak. Let it sit in his fridge for 16 days trying to claim it dry aged it. And then put it in 16 sticks of melted butter and boiled it. It's because you said you'd throw little laptop out the window the other day. It's mad. <laughs> okay, I guess little laptop that could but can't has reason to be mad. But needs to stop it. <laughs> also, cook your own marinara. It's not hard. It's like people are afraid to peel tomatoes. It's really not that hard at all. It's really not. I don't... I don't know, Todd. I don't understand it. I made sauce last night for Small Human. He loved it. Hey, hey, Ace. How's it going, bud? How's work? Once it looks 
kind of like this. We're going to take some slices of mozzarella cheese and we're going to literally plop those bad boys on top just like this. And look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Cover up the entire surface area. And then with the rest of the beef we have, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle that on top. Very thin layer, a little bit more of your pasta sauce. You don't need much. Spread that out. And right now the oven is preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put some more of this pizza seasoning on top, more of this fresh basil. We got some hot peppers. So we're going to go ahead and grind a nice amount of hot peppers on there. You have a hot pepper grinder. You have a hot pepper grinder, but you couldn't mince your own garlic. Okay. Okay. Don't have to go back till next Monday now. Woohoo. Wait. There you go. Got a nice long break there. Nice dang doll. It looks like my intestines will be glued with my arteries. Yes. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. One last thing. We're going to add some room temperature water onto here and this is actually going to help the, the pasta cook the rest of the way because it is al dente so that water is going to soak down into the it's it's al dente al dente the fuck is an al dente does anyone here know what al dente is because i am confused al dente Al dente. Never heard of it. Yeah. I've heard of al dente. I have I've heard of al dente, but I have never heard of al dente. Fucking al dente. Pasta. It's been 20 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and take the lid off. We're going to add some of this fresh mozzarella cheese that's been shredded. We're going to take that and put it on the top of this. Okay, and the oven is still preheated to 350 degrees. So spread that out with your hand. If you didn't shred it yourself from a block or a ball of mozzarella, if you didn't chop or mince that garlic yourself if you didn't pick and chop that basil yourself it's not fresh quit calling it fresh please for the love of god Quit calling it fresh. We're going to leave the lid off for this step, and we're going to put this back in the oven. Okay, it's been 20 more minutes in the oven, and it looks amazing, you guys. Look at the cheese melted on top. Now we're going to go ahead, and we're just going to dig into this. I'm just going to go straight down and look at, oh, my gosh. Look at this. Cooked perfectly. We got the meat, and we have some of this fresh parmesan. Once again, not fresh. That is not fresh Parmesan. Oh, thank you, Mari. I'm holding this over in your head. Send me a Baconator. <laughs> I will keep that in mind, Mari. <laughs> gonna be hard to poop tomorrow yeah yeah he's gonna have a difficult time going poop poop i just also my thing froze again i do believe hold on yeah hang on we're at 318 cool it's not fresh parmesan 
here for a treat today. We're making one of my favorite dishes. We're going to go ahead and start off. Look at, oh my gosh. That just, that looks like it's going to hurt. That looks like it's going to hurt. It's going to ruin all of the intestines. Look at this, cooked perfectly. We got the meat, and we have some of this fresh Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle that on top, because it never can go wrong with some more Parmesan cheese. Bam, and go in for a bite. This is so good, you guys. Give this a shot. I do not trust a man that does not know how to take care of his curls. It's very obvious that your hair is pulled back into a bun, and all of that frizz tells me that you know nothing of caring for your curls. Also, you look like an egg. Ugh. But thank you, Noah, for that disaster. I'd expect a youngin to cook like this. This guy is too old not to have better taste in food. Fun fact, uh, he cooks for his children. For his wife and his children. His wife is actually the one that films most of his videos. It's weird. I don't know why she allowed him to make the... Uh, bucket of nachos that he lay the foil on the floor to dump. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. But you know what? Such is life sometimes. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't understand everything. I bet he still eats mac and cheese from the box and just adds ingredients. <laughs> Probably. I did see his, uh, his video where he decided to make a breakfast that, like, is guaranteed to get you laid for Valentine's Day. And he took hot dogs cut like split them down the middle folded them into hearts and put little toothpicks in them and it it was a tragedy it was an absolute goddamn tragedy but yes uh i passed my farm inspection with an a plus 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 oh fantastic so proud of you good job and fucking believable all right so that was my last video for today. I do need to go and wash dishes because, well, it's important to maintain cleanliness. I also need to season some chicken because small human is very much looking forward to chicken for dinner tonight. So I have to take the pack of chicken out of the fridge and season it and let it sit for a little bit. <sighs> only 2.30 now? Cool. Uh, Noah's the only dude to get turned down by a fleshlight. <laughs> How did he end up with a wife? Do you, think, do you think she was paid to be there? I think she was paid to be there. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, thank you guys for being here. I absolutely appreciate every single last one of y'all. Um, today at 5.30 p.m., of course, there's stuff going on on Slim's channel. Uh, I do believe, hey, Thaga, I do believe tomorrow night, 
is the night that Anna will be talking to Von Helton. If that is not the case, then I will let y'all know in the morning if I stream in the morning. Um, Thursday night is CSB, and Hyun is going to be doing a review of one of... Uh, Oh, tomorrow night, Todd is on with Vaughn. Or, Todd is on with Anna. Vaughn is next week. Got it. Thank you, Todd. So, tomorrow night, catch Todd on uh, Underhaven with Anna. That'll be fantastic. Thursday night is CSB, and Hyun is doing a review of one of Lord of Patriarchy's books. We are getting a, a, a Lord of Patriarchy book review so be sure to go check that out um let's see what else do we have going on this week um friday night oh yes uh glober mom has a video premiering regarding the solar eclipse soon uh Mama usually does stuff on uh, Premiere Thursday. <laughs> Premiere Thursday is a fun day. Her link is also in the description. Uh, Friday is Widow Sun Sanctum. Saturday is Underhaven proper. Sunday we might be... Oh, no. This Sunday we are not doing brunch because Lizard has obligations. So I might stream Sunday morning. There's a lot going on. It's usually a very busy week with a lot of great streams that happen. Um, so yeah, be sure to go check out all the links that are in the description and I will be sure to post stuff onto, uh, my community tab for everyone. Ooh, Thursdays I do what the hell Karen. Got it, Glober Mama. I gotta remember these things so that I can properly shill everyone. <laughs> but yes, uh, I hope that all of y'all have a fantastic rest of your day. An even better tomorrow. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.